Hi guys, so today we are decorating a glam Christmas tree. I'll be using a champagne, gold, bronze, and white decorations. My friend already have this beautiful locked Christmas tree, but we'll make it extra glam and I'll show you how. So these are the four ribbons I'll be using. This two champagne ribbon is 6.5 cm. I also bought this rose gold ribbon which I didn't get to use in the end. And lastly, I have this 4.5 cm bronze ribbon. For our picks, I have three kinds. This gold one looks really good but I hope it's a little bigger. The second one is a champagne picks which is a lot bigger than the gold. We also have a white pick that really matches the snow effect on the Christmas tree. I bought this online through Shein. I wish I had bought more of this. For the floral, I have the bronze golden poncetcha. I got it from a discount store. And this beautiful champagne poncetcha is from Aldi. For the bubbles, I have gold and bronze bubbles. Both has 4cm and 6cm bubbles, which I will be creating a cluster that I'll show you later. And this beautiful 20cm bubble is from Christmas Shock. And finally, here are the Lux bubbles from Meyer. They're so beautiful and the quality is really good. I choose to have gold, white, bronze, and some rose gold color for my special bubbles. Some of them are three pieces and some of them are just two. I choose to have eight different special bubbles as I want it to look random. But you can either just choose two to three different styles of bubbles and get more pieces of each if you want to have a consistent look for your tree. So here's the beautiful Christmas tree that I'm decorating. It's 2.1 meter in height because there's a lot of space at the bottom. So I think it's just about 1.8 meters for the actual tree that I'll be decorating. I am going to start decorating the tree with a ribbon. This ribbon is a double-sided champagne and gold color. I prefer the champagne side and also have a gold trim on the side. Since I'm going to use this as a topper, I'm going to make a tree loop on this ribbon and tie it on the very top of the tree using the branch. I suggest using a wire to secure the loop before you attach it to the tree. Then I continue making a loop going downwards and make sure to loosen up the ribbon before tying it again with the branch. I'll continue adding the ribbon around the tree. The position or the alignment of the ribbon is always following the shape of the tree. One roll of this ribbon is 10 meters. It should be enough if your tree is standing on a corner, but because I have to decorate both sides of the tree, it's better to have two rolls of this ribbon. Also remember to cut a fish tail or cut diagonally at the end of the ribbon. For the second ribbon, I'm just creating one loop and attach it at the same branch where I attached the first ribbon. Then make a loop going downwards and you can either follow the same direction of the first ribbon or go to a different direction. When you reach the bottom part, cut the end with the fish tail or cut it diagonally. It's better to have a different size ribbon but if you couldn't find a bigger one, you can always find a different texture or a different print. I'm going to zoom in to show you how I attach the ribbon. Aside from using the branch in holding the ribbon, you can also use the excess wire that you use in making the first loop of your ribbon. Then I am holding the ribbon upward to give a shape to our loop. When you have the shape of the ribbon, find a spot and use the branch to crisscross it around the ribbon. Do this for a couple of loop, then cut the end diagonally or make a fish tail. For our third ribbon, you can use this ribbon on the last part to fill in some empty areas but I decided to finish all the ribbon at this stage because I didn't have enough of the first and second ribbon. With this ribbon, make one loop then cut the tail longer than the other. Then I choose a spot to add it and attach it using the branch. Now we are adding our big 20cm bubbles. I bought two of this big one. I initially planned to hang it one on the top left and another on the lower right. But since we need to decorate both sides, I have to put one on each side. I also made a cluster bubbles. It has a mixture of 6cm and 4cm bubbles. I just scattered it around the tree and making sure that it's in a zigzag pattern. And here's how I create the cluster bubble. 
I first cut all the wires, then I create the first cluster. In this cluster, I have two pieces of 6cm and one piece of 4cm bubble with different textures. I set it aside and make two of this set of cluster. Then I also added one pair of 4cm and 6cm bubble. Next, we are going to use a longer wire this time, starting with a small 4cm bubble and add up to 5 more bubbles with a different size and texture. After that, I attach the first set of cluster by twisting the two wires together. Do the same with another set of cluster. And add the last piece of the cluster. So you'll able to build up a bubble cluster like this. This is such a nice addition to your Christmas tree because it's very visible than hanging a small individual bubble. I don't have lots of bubble. I only made two set of this big cluster in bronze and gold color. For the remaining bubble, I just clustered two of the 6cm and one of the 4cm bubble. I will also use the end of the wire to hang it in the tree or tie it at the branch of the tree. The next part will be the floral and the picks. I started with this 42 inches poncetta and find a spot for it. To secure it, wrap the branches around the poncetta. I personally like to place them in a zigzag pattern so the eyes will be drawn to look around the tree. For the picks, I have five of these beautiful glittered picks. I was planning to have two of them on the top and tree around the tree in a zigzag pattern. I still able to do a zigzag pattern but I have to spread it in the back, front and the side of the tree. I got distracted to pick up these beautiful bubbles and scatter it around the tree. I don't have a specific pattern on how I will attach the special bubbles. I just want to scatter it around and fill in the spaces. After hanging all our special bubbles, I continue attaching the rest of the picks. The next one will be our 32cm poncetta. I bought this from a discount store. It didn't come with a nice box like from Aldi. I have to open up and move the petals around to make it look nicer. I scatter it around the tree in a zigzag pattern and sometimes I have to move around the decker that I already attach if the particular area looks a bit crowded. Here's my favorite white pigs that is perfect for this flocked Christmas tree. I have 5 of these pigs but it will be better if you have at least 8 of this. Also added one on top to make it look connected from top to the body of the tree. I did the same thing with our gold pigs. Lastly, we are going to reuse the small poncetta that my friend decorated her Christmas tree earlier and place it to a sparse area of the tree. I love how it turns out. It is looking so full and lots of texture. The color combination of gold, bronze, and white screams glam for me. I have underestimated the number of the decoration because I didn't take into account that I have to decorate three sides of the tree. But I think it still looks really full and it looks like it's just perfect amount of decors in the tree. If you haven't seen my candy cane Christmas tree, make sure to check out my channel and watch that video as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you find this helpful, please like and share this video. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to see more videos like this. Bye!